starting with the glorious and compassionate name of Allah who is the most merciful and beneficent. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Hope you all are doing well. Dear students, in our today's lecture we are going to discuss the remaining part of the book exercise of unit number 6 Nasiruddin. So please open up page 61 of your book. See question B on the top of it. Translate the following passage from English to Urdu. This is your today's first homework. You have to translate it yourself. Now come towards the topic grammar. In the grammar, we are going to discuss adjective. You are familiar with this topic. What is an adjective? A word that describes a noun or a pronoun. Question A. Complete the following sentences using an adjective belonging to to the categories specified. There are several categories mentioned in front of the sentences and we have to use an adjective for it according to that category. We had to take, so here we have to use adjective of quality. So we had to take a safe route to reach our destination. Part 2, we should be adjective of quality again, good citizens. Then he is wearing dash suit adjective of color any color you can put over here burj al khalifa is the tallest building in the world adjective of size we have to use here so that is tallest and we have used the superlative degree of tall over here because the is used here and we know it very well that before the superlative degree of adjective we use the Part 5. The earth is dash, adjective of shape, spherical. Then part B. Complete the following sentences using the appropriate degree of the adjective given in the brackets. So dear students, see the first one part. He is dash then. For comparison, we use comparative degree. So he is richer than his neighbors. Part 2. The brides were much dash than the grooms. Again comparison. So comparative degree, degree we will use over here. So younger. The brides were much younger than the grooms. Then he is dash of the class. He is an intelligent student of the class. Then Part 4. He is dash then I thought him to be. Cleverer. Again a comparison over here. Then part 5. When the old woman became stronger, she became to move about. Then we have to move towards page 62. Page 62. Question C. Complete the following sentences using proper order of adjective. For proper order of adjective, dear students, I am going to give you its proper formula. Let us do this exercise. He was wearing a dash shirt. A dirty old flannel shirt. Part 2. Pass me the dash cups. Big blue plastic cups. He said behind a big brown wooden desk. I used to drive an old blue German car. She gave him a small black Egyptian vase. Now see how adjectives are formed. Formation of adjectives. Adjectives can be formed from nouns and verbs by adding these suffixes. You know what are suffixes, what are prefixes? A L O U S L Y A B L E Y E D I N G J U L L E W S W E and I C Part D Use the word given in bracket at the end of the sentences to form a suitable adjective. Hamid writes in a simple and understandable way. 
the party was much more enjoyable than i expected i had expected part 3 i wish i had magical powers part 4 maria came to me in a very emotional state part 5 my sister is allergic to cats then part e find adjectives from the lesson and change them into comparative and superlative degrees so dear students this is your next homework now let us move towards page 63 the most interesting point, uh, topic adjective phrase you know very well what is an adjective you know very well what is a phrase an adjective phrase serves the same purpose as an adjective in a sentence it means it modifies a noun or pronoun so adjective phrase is that group of words that gives us incomplete sense by modifying a noun or pronoun so adjective phrase starts with articles identify the adjective phrases in the following sentences have you ever seen an elephant with a white skin an elephant with a white skin is adjective phrase over here he was wearing a crown made of gold is an adjective phrase over here the underlined parts are adjective phrases there i met a girl with blue eyes so a girl with blue eyes a crown made of gold an elephant with a white skin or adjective phrases part 4 wild beasts in small cages are a sorry sight a sorry sight is an adjective phrase a man with a long beard came to see me so a man with a long beard is an adjective phrase over here now come towards part g in each of the following sentences replace the adjective in color by adjective phrase of the same meaning so we have to use adjective phrase instead of the adjective the highlighted terms it is a white elephant it is an elephant with a white skin part 2 he lived in a stone house so he lived in a house made of stone the king wore golden crown the king wore a crown made of gold she wore a diamond necklace she wore a necklace made of diamond and the last one it was horrible night it was a night full of horror and dear students this is the formula how we have to put an adjective at its proper position in a sentence first of all adjective of opinion is put then adjective of size adjective of uh, shape adjective of condition adjective of age adjective of color adjective of pattern adjective of origin adjective of material adjective of purpose and then the noun which it is describing for example you can take a sentence like i bought an ugly small thin dirty old red round pakistani cotton sleeping bag please do remember the formula it will help you out in putting the adjectives in a correct position this is our today's topic thank you so much Stay blessed.